Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys, uh, episode number 2 of our Juventus career mode. Uh, currently we are uh, looking to bring in some new players. So in the last video uh, there was a couple of comments uh, regarding the players that I did mention. So uh, the first player, uh, literally the people that commented agreed on Danny Carvajal for our right back position. Uh, someone mentioned uh, bringing in Dolberg as our backup striker now that we did get rid of Mandzukic and for me personally out of the people I chose for the new right mid uh, Martins was the best option so before I get into these signings and uh, introduce the video uh, leave a like on the video if you uh, do enjoy this video uh, it'll be greatly appreciated comment uh, uh, any more transfer uh, options you want me to bring in and yeah comment your just basic opinions on my video uh, and yeah Make subscribe if you are new as well. So now we will get in. Uh, just before I do, just in case there is any background noise you hear, unfortunately, when I'm recording this, there is uh, like construction sites like literally opposite where I live, and it's very loud. So I'm sorry if there is any like disturbance when you are uh, uh, listening. It's, I can't really help it, but I wanted to get these videos out for you guys and. Uh, yeah, uh, let's do some negotiations with Real Madrid now, because I don't want to be paying uh, that much for Danny Carvajal, even though he's probably worth, he actually is worth that much. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't really like to uh, watch through that, I just sim through it. Uh, I'm going to offer, I'd say for £40 million pounds first. 47 okay. Now I'm going to just bring it down just a tad. To 44. See if they will accept that. Okay, boom. Zidane has accepted the deal. We're going to go into the contract negotiation now. We've got like 150 million to play with after selling on some players. Uh, he's going to be a crucial player. He'll be playing literally every game, so there's nothing to worry about there. He wants a four year deal, which is perfect for us. Uh, I don't want a release clause. 200 grand a week. 2.7 million signing on bonus 10 clean sheets 2.8 I am happy with that so we still got a fair fair uh, amount of money to play with oh now that is a that is a worry Jelson Martin and Martins is not for sale because they don't have enough players in that position uh, I want to negotiate with uh, Ajax because I don't want to pay 16.8 million for a youngster even though he's got very very good potential uh, I'm gonna try and offer around uh, 10 million. I, I'm probably overpaying there, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 7.5 million in. I don't know if that's oh okay. Wow, they have completely rejected me there. So what I'm gonna have to do is wait a week to get him in, and then I'm gonna go off and search for another right mid uh, to bring in. So uh, once I do that, I'll come straight back to the transfer hub, and then I'll. Uh, carry on from there so I'll see you guys in a bit right guys here you see we've uh, before we uh, got into our transfer hub we actually got an offer from uh, uh, Zenit for Lichsteiner now I'm gonna accept this because there actually is if we go over to our squad once I clear this if we go over to our squad uh, oh it's not very uh, the squad depth is not great as you can see there's the Siglio who can be our backup right back to uh, Carvajal so uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and not go uh, I mean, I'm going to let him leave. Uh, Bailey is who we're going to approach for one we cannot. Wow. That is another one which we cannot approach. So, I'm going to have to go and search again. I think what I'm going to do is go for Human Son. Now, uh, Son is actually a left mid, but he can play right mid, which is why I want to go in for him. He's 25, so he's still got at least five years in him. Uh, but I, I reckon he is. he could definitely... Do a job for us on the right wing so actually we are able to get him so what I'm gonna do is put in a bid for him now I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in 35 million pounds because he's definitely worth uh, I'm not gonna put that definitely worth more than 28 million geez they want 51 million uh, counter uh, I'm gonna drop it down to 47 million hopefully we can agree on that okay that's that's very good uh, I mean it's still it's still a hot large sum of money but um, at least it's cut down from that 51 million so 
we will go into our contract agreement. So yeah, that's perfect. Uh, five years, hopefully. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't want no release clause. I, I never really put release clauses on players. Uh, oh, salary, he's on. Right, I'm gonna give him 100 grand a week and 1.44. <laughs> for his uh, signing on bonus, I don't, yeah. Okay, well, I'll take accept that, that's fine. So we do get a new left mid, or right mid actually, he's gonna be playing on the right, uh, into the squad. So that means uh, Bernard Dashi will drop down to the subs bench, and then we'll swap him around with Human Son, who play on the right. Okay, so that's what the team's looking like. As you can see, the bench, we still need that backup striker, so Dolberg will be coming in. Uh, we could do with a couple of, uh, I need another attacker, maybe like a new cam I think, just as a backup, because there'll be a striker there, one of the centre backs will drop down to the reserves, but um, yeah that's where we're at for now, so I'm going to go over to our first game which is going to be uh, some cup game, like a pre-season pre cup game against Lazio, I think it's like the league winners, cup winners I think, so uh, I'll get over to that and then uh, once we get there we'll jump straight into the game. So our first game of the season uh, in video terms so once I get there I'll see you guys there. Right guys, um, I've actually decided I am going to pay the uh, buyout clause or uh, release clause for Dolberg, 16.8 million. Uh, just because, I don't know, I want, I want him in now. Obviously he's not going to be like a good rating just yet. Uh, but. Uh, I want to get him in because we've got a game coming up. We need a backup striker, so for that reason, I'm just going to pay the quick 17 uh, million, offer him 45 grand or 44, signing on bonus of a few hundred grand, just so it guarantees him here. Okay, there we go. Right, he's in the team. I need to swap him for our bench actually. So what I'm going to do is Bargzagli is going to come down. Uh, and then we'll have just move it around just like that okay so that's how we're gonna be like that for now hopefully uh, that's okay with everyone so we're gonna move on into the game now and I'll catch you into the game right guys here we are just at the uh, menu just quickly just let you know uh, legendary we're gonna be playing and uh, I just want to show you uh, a couple of settings I've boosted to make it a bit harder because I find the default legendary to be uh, too easy so the computer's shot error is down to 25 and their pass error is to 25. Uh, we've put the goalkeeper ability up to 55, marking up to 80, run frequency up to 80, line height to 45, line length to 40, uh, and line width to 55, fullback position to 80, uh, first touch control down to 30, and then that's about it. So I just wanted to let you guys clear on uh, the settings we are using. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into this game. Alright guys, unfortunately, I um, I had a bit of an issue with my recording of the gameplay and uh, once I finished recording, uh, I forgot to export it, so when I closed down the program, the file went with it, so it didn't actually export uh, the gameplay, so unfortunately I can't, I can't even go back and like replay it for you guys, uh, but I'm, I'll run you through what happened, so basically... Uh, we were dominating the game throughout the whole the whole uh, the whole game, dominating through. We had about ten shots uh, within the first half. Lazio had zero in like the 65th minute. Uh, Nani scored to make it one nil uh, with their first shot and only shot of the game. They literally only had one shot, and we had about nearly 16, 17 shots. Uh, we just couldn't finish our chances. We hit the crossbar once with uh, Dybala. And uh, yeah, it was a really tough game, even though we, we were d the dominant team throughout the whole game. So unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to actually show you the gameplay because of what happened with my footage. It just it just couldn't. I just couldn't. I tried to revert. Uh, I tried to change the file format of this file that got left in like the folders, but once it like cleared out and changed to an MP4, the quality was so bad of my mic and the game. So. Um, I just didn't even bother putting it in, so I'm gonna have to do it like this, uh, unfortunately. But next get next episode, uh, I will definitely have two uh, two videos out uh, 
because I mean not two videos, two games of like the first league game and the second league game just because uh, obviously this has happened so if you did enjoy the transfer bit of the video please leave a like on the video uh, comment your thoughts of the transfers we did make and if there is any other uh, transfers you want me to do uh, I would love a new cam I think just to bolster up the attack uh, on the bench because we're very limited to options uh, other than that guys I'm really sorry due to the gameplay uh, we'll see you uh, in the next video which will be hopefully out tomorrow or the day after you see this video so hopefully that happens unfortunately there's no gameplay uh, but there will be in the next episode so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys later peace